the lentil lens culinaris medic is an edible pulse it is a bushy annual plant of legume family known for its lens shaped seeds it's about 40 cm tall and the seeds grow in pods usually with two seeds in each lentil is one of the important and most nutritious rabi pulses it has the potential to cover the risk of rain fed farming it is also used as a cover crop to check the soil erosion in problem areas it derives the name lens from the lens shaped seeds lentil colors range from yellow to red orange to green brown and black lentils also vary in and are sold in many forms with or without skins whole or split it is mostly eaten as dal the dal is made by splitting the grain into cotyledons which are deep orange red or orange yellow in color the whole grain is also used in some of the dishes it is also rich in calcium about 560 ppm iron and niacin it has the lowest content of lectins and trypsin inhibitors among legumes since it's a leguminous crop it improves the fertility of soil biological nitrogen fixation lentil seeds also provide a source of starch for textile and printing lentil residues form important livestock feed lentil flour is used for thickening of soups it's mixed with wheat flour in bread and cake production vernacular names red lentils are known by a common name masoor or its local variant names like in tamil masoor paruppu or mysore paruppu in malayalam masoor paruppu telugu misoor pappu kannada masoor bele and in hindi masoor dal or lal tur dal classification there are two cultivated species of genus lens that is lens culinaris medic and lens esculenta moinch the wild species include lens orientalis lens nigricans lens aroids and lens montbretti the cultivated species l esculenta are classified into two subgroups according to the seed one subspecies microsperma they have small seed of 2 to 6 mm in diameter and are produced in india africa and asia pods are complex and small subspecies macrosperma they have large seeds of 6 to 9 mm in diameter and are grown in mediterranean region and north america mostly pods are flat and large origin lentils are believed to have originated in central asia having been consumed since prehistoric times they are one of the first foods to have ever been cultivated lentil seeds dating back 8000 years have been found at archaeological sites in the middle east for millennia lentils have been traditionally been eaten with barley and wheat three foods of that originated in the same regions and spread throughout the africa and europe during similar migrations and explorations of cultural tribes before the first century ad they were introduced to india geographic distribution as per a few report the global lentil production during 2015-16 was 48.27 lakh metric tons from 39.58 lakh hectares the top 10 lentil producing countries are canada with 19 lakh 87000 metric tons india 11 lakh turkey 3 lakh 45000 
Australia 2,38,120, Nepal 2,26,830, Bangladesh 1,57,000, United States of America 1,56,310, Ethiopia 1,37,000, 354, China 1,25,000 and Iran with 84,948 metric tons. Production of Masoor in India India is the second largest producer of Masoor crop in the world. Indian production of this crop hovers around 11 lakh metric tons per year that is cultivated on about 14 lakh hectares of land. Masoor crop is grown in India in the winter season in the following states Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Bihar, West Bengal, Rajasthan, Haryana, Punjab, Assam, Maharashtra. Around 90% of the production comes from the top four states of Uttar Pradesh. Madhya Pradesh, Bihar and West Bengal. In the southern part of the country, muscle production or consumption is not popular. Uttar Pradesh accounts for the maximum production in the country, contributing to around 45% of the country's production as well as for the maximum area under masoor cultivation. The crop is both cultivated as a primary crop and as a secondary crop in the country. Economic importance The Masoor dal, often used in the place of Tur or Tur dal in India. The main difference between the Masoor and Tur is cooking time and distinctively arti favor. Some types of lentil require soaking overnight before cooking as well. When soaked in water for the same amount of time, Masoor dal takes roughly double the time to cook than yellow tur dal. Lentils contain dietary fiber, folate, vitamin B1 and minerals. Red or pink lentils contain a lower concentration of fiber than green lentils, 11% rather than 31%. Health magazine has selected lentils as one of the five healthiest foods. The low levels of readily digestible starch that is RDS 5% and high levels of slowly digested starch that is SDS 30% makes lentils the great interest to the people with diabetes. The remaining 65% of the starch is a resistant starch that is classified as RS1 being a high quality resistant starch which is 32% amylose. Lentil also have some anti-nutritional factors such as trypsin inhibitors and relatively high phytate content. Trypsin is an enzyme involved in digestion and phytates reduce the bioavailability of dietary minerals. The phytates can be reduced by soaking the lentils in warm water overnight. Lentils are a good source of iron, having over half of the person's daily iron allowance in one cup of serving. Lentils are deficient in two essential amino acids, methionine and cysteine. However, sprouted lentils contain sufficient levels of all amino acids, including methionine and cysteine. Soil and climatic requirement. Soil. Lentil is adapted to all soil types from sand to clay loam if there is good internal drainage. Lentil does not tolerate flooded or waterlogged soils and does best on deep sandy loam soil high in phosphorus and potassium. Good drainage is required because even short period of exposure to water logged or flooded field conditions kill plants. A soil pH near 7 
is best for lentil production. In India, lentil is raised on light loams and alluvial soils in Upper India and on well-drained, moderately deep, light black soils in Madhya Pradesh and Maharashtra. It is also grown on lowlands, poor soils. In Punjab, it is often cultivated on inundated lands. The crop can withstand moderate alkalinity. Climate Lentil is adapted to cool growing conditions and the young plants are tolerant of spring frosts. This allows for early spring planting dates. Lentils have been grown extensively in the semi-arid part of the world where they have slightly lower yields but good seed quality, high humidity and excessive rainfall during the season encourages vegetative growth which prevents good yield and can reduce seed quality. 10 to 12 inch of annual rainfall will produce high yields of good quality seeds. Varieties Lentil plants are slender, semi-erect annuals with compound leaves, 4 to 7 pairs of leaflets with the tendrils at the tip. Plants normally range from 30 to 50 cm tall. The taller plants resulting from cool growing season temperatures, good moisture and good fertility. Plants can have single stem or many branches depending upon the population in the field. Flowering begins on the lowest branches, gradually moving up the plant and continuing until harvest. Each flower produces a short pod containing one or two lens shaped seeds. Flowers can be white or pale blue in color and are self pollinated. At maturity, plants tend to lodge because of their weak stems. Cultural Practices Field Preparation A firm, smooth seed bed with most of the previous crop residue incorporated is best for lentil. Uneven surfaces, large clods, rocks or protruding crop residues can interfere with seed placement and germination. On heavy soils, one deep plowing followed by two to three cross harrowing should be done. Light soils may require less tillage and harrowing. There should be proper moisture in the soil at the time of sowing for good germination. Seed treatment Seed treatment may be followed to minimize the losses caused by seed soil borne diseases. The lentil seeds are treated with fungi toxicant as bioagents before sowing and treated with seed protection fungicides such as therum or captain at 2.5 to 3 grams per kg seed or systematic fungicides such as binomil, carbendazim, carbendazim plus moncozeb, thiophenate methyl at 2 gram per kg seed and dry in shade. Sowing time and seed rate. Lentil should be sown after the harvest of rice in the wetland system from November to December. A seed rate of 30 to 40 kgs per hectare is recommended depending on the seed varieties. It can be broadcast sown if plant in line, a row spacing of 30 cm is recommended. Lentil should be planted at a shallow depth of about 3 to 4 cm. Method of sowing The crop should be sown in line 30 cm apart by Pora method. It can be sown by seed broadcast after the rice crop where shortage of time and excess moisture conditions do not allow good land preparation. Under late sown conditions, the row spacing should be reduced to 20 cm. Lentil seed should be sown at a depth of 
3 to 4 cm. Manures and fertilizers. Generally, lentil is grown without fertilizers and manures. Inoculation with proper rhizobium will provide the nitrogen requirement of lentil. Farmers usually do not use nitrogen fertilizers for lentil production. This is due to the ability of lentil to fix atmospheric nitrogen. It is reported that lentil can fix 46 to 192 kgs of nitrogen per hectare. However, if available nitrogen is low, that is organic matter less than 2%, an early nitrogen supplement as starter dose will help. In order to encourage the bacterial activity, the application of 1 kg per hectare of nitrogen can be applied as starter dose. Likewise, 2.5 kgs per hectare of phosphorus is recommended during the growing season. Weed control Normally, weeds are not big problem in lentil cultivation if uniform germination is achieved. However, major weeds in the lentil field can be Kinopodium album, Visia sativa, Lathyrus species, etc. The period from 30 to 60 days after sowing is critical for weed competition. Hand weeding should be done at 25 to 30 days after sowing. Pets and diseases Because most of the lentil production occurs in the drier, less humid environment, the crop is relatively free from major diseases. However, anthracnose, ascochyta blight, and fusarium wilt are possible disease problems for lentil. Crop rotation is the most effective method of preventing a disease problem. Beans, field pea, mustard, soybean, and potato crops are to be avoided in too close or rotation because these crops are susceptible to the same diseases. Maize and small grains are good rotation crops in conjunction with lentil. Pests Cutworm The causative insects are agrotis species. Symptoms are Stems of young transplants or seedlings may be severed at soil line. If infection occurs later, irregular holes are eaten into surface of fruits. Larvae causing the damage are usually active at night and hide during the day in soil at the base of the plants or in plant debris of toppled plants. Management Remove all plant residue from soil after harvest or at least two weeks before planting. This is especially important if the previous crop was another host such as alfalfa bean or a leguminous cover crop. Hand pick larvae after dark, spread diatomaceous earth around the base of the plant. This creates a sharp barrier that will cut the insect if they try to crawl over it. Diseases Anthracnose Causative fungus is Calitotrichum truncatum. Symptoms are tan lesions with darker borders on leaves which are often appear prior to flowering or shortly after bloom. Diseased leaves may drop from the plant prematurely. Tan to light brown lesions appear on lower stems and begin to spread upwards, appearing higher on the plant. Lesions may contain numerous black dots. As plant matures, the lesions expand and may cover large areas of the stem. Management There are no varieties of lentil which are completely resistant to the disease, but some are less susceptible than others and can be planted in areas where disease is prevalent. A well-timed application of an appropriate fungicide may be enough to control the disease but should be reapplied in the event of persistent wet weather. 
spray any one of the fungicides. Metalaxyl plus mancozeb at 500 gram each per hectare or mancozeb 1000 gram per hectare can control the disease. Ascochyta blight. The causative fungus is Ascochyta pinodella. The symptoms are tan to light brown lesions with a dark border can appear on any aerial part of the plant such as leaves, stem, pod, petiole and peduncles. During period of high humidity, numerous black dots may be visible in the center of the lesions. The management is plant only disease free seeds or seed treated with a fungicide prior to planting. Rotate crop away from lentil for a period of 3 years. Remove and destroy all lentil crop residues after harvest to reduce the level of inoculum during the following growing season. A single application of an appropriate foliar fungicide is usually enough to control the disease but should be reapplied during persistent wet weather. Cropping system Lentil is grown mixed with barley, thoria, rapeseed and mustard crops. It is also raised as an intercrop in autumn sugar cane. Two lines of lentil may be sown 30 cm apart in the center of two sugar cane rows. The distance between sugar cane and lentil rows should be 30 cm. Intercropping of linseed plus lentil in 2 is to 1 row ratio, lentil plus mustard 4 to 6 is to 1 ratio in Bundelkhand region of Uttar Pradesh is also promising. Lentil is relatively more shade loving than gram. Hence, it performs better in mixed and intercropping systems. Generally, lentil is grown after the harvest of karif crops or as a sole crop of the year. Rice lentil is a most common rotation. The other lentil based rotations are groundnut lentil, sorghum lentil, perlimulet lentil, maize lentil, cotton lentil, carif fallow lentil in rain fed areas, rice lentil plus mustard maize as fodder. Harvesting and yield. Lentil should be harvested when plants begin to turn yellow and the lower pods become brown to yellow brown in color. Pods can readily shattered. Therefore, harvesting should not be done during hot, dry periods of the day. Lentil has a weak stalk and tend to lodge badly. This means that low cut is required in order to minimize losses. Lentils are considered dry at 12% moisture content for storage purpose. Several factors affect lentil seed yield including local climate, soil conditions and genetic features. It is reported that lentil seed yield ranges from 1050 to 1800 kgs per hectare. The average value of the world lentil seed yield is 1095 kgs per hectare. It also yields 3 to 4 metric tons per hectare of straw. Summary The lentil, Lance culinaris, belong to Fabiaceae family, is an edible pulse. Lentil are known by a common name, Masur, or its local variant names. There are two cultivated species, namely Lens culinaris and Lens esculenta. Lens esculenta are classified into two subgroups according to the seed as microsperma, which have small seed of 2 to 6 mm in diameter, macrosperma, which have last seeds. Lentils are believed to have originated in Central Asia. The global annual lentil production is about 
48.27 lakh metric tons from 39.58 lakh hectares. The top 10 lentil producing countries are Canada, India, Turkey, Australia, Nepal, Bangladesh, United States of America, Ethiopia, China and Iran. India is the second largest producer of the masoor crop in the world. Indian production of this crop hovers around 11 lakh metric tons per year that is cultivated on about 14 lakh hectares of land. Around 90% of the production comes from the four states of Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Bihar and West Bengal. And the other important states are Rajasthan, Haryan, Punjab, Assam and Maharashtra. The Indian Council of Agricultural Research ICAR has released 17 lengths varieties for Indian conditions. Generally, lentil is grown after the harvest of karif crop or as sole crop of the year. Rice lentil is the most common rotation crop. The other lentil based rotations are with groundnut, sorghum, pearl millet, maize and cotton. Lentil seed yield ranges from 1050 to 1800 kgs per hectare. The average value of the world lentil seed yield is 1095 kgs per hectare. It also yields 3 to 4 metric tons per hectare of straw. Thank you.